there, travelers. It's Anthony. And today we're escaping the mainland madness of Cancun to uncover the tranquil charm of Isla Mujeres. Just a quick ferry ride from Cancun. This gem of an island is a world away from your typical vacation hustle. Join me as we embark on a day trip that will tantalize your senses and rejuvenate your spirit. We're talking about the best things to do, hidden spots only the locals know about, and of course, the food that will make your taste buds dance. Next stop, paradise. We're starting our adventure from Puerto Juarez, closer to my home base, so we get to enjoy a little drive through Cancun. We're cruising down Bonampak Avenue, folks. This is the heart of Cancun, where the city's vibrant life pulses through the streets. It's a straight shot through Puerto Juarez. And here we are, Puerto Juarez. You can feel the ocean breeze calling out to us. All right, my fellow explorers, let's grab our tickets and get on board. Isla Mujeres awaits. All right, team, we're stepping onto the Ultramar Ferry. And let me tell you, it's not just a ride, it's an experience. We're heading upstairs to where the magic happens. Open air, the sun on your faces, and the sea breeze in our hair. And check this out, we've got live music. There's nothing quite like the soulful strum of traditional Mayan melodies or the nostalgic chords of classic English rock hits to set the scene. This is your soundtrack for The Crossing, which, by the way, will zip by in just about 20 minutes. Now, if you're after a cooler vibe, the lower deck is where it's at. It's all about the chill, air conditioned, comfy seats, free Wi-Fi and TVs, plus music from the speakers will keep the vibe going. Just a heads up, if you're planning to sit here, make sure you're not dripping wet or covered in sand. So, for the ride back, you might want to pack some dry clothes to change into. Trust me, it makes all the difference for a comfy trip back to the mainland. We've got the Caribbean's finest blues for company, and every shade is more stunning than the last. And all around us, boats and catamarans travel across these mesmerizing waters. And just like that, we've arrived at Isla Mujeres, where time moves slower and the colors shine slightly brighter. Now, as you can see, the welcome committee here is pretty enthusiastic. You've got sales guys left and right, offering tours, golf cart rentals, and taxi rides. It's all part of the local charm. But here's the insider tip. We're going local, and I've got just the place for our wheels today. It's the go-to golf cart provider for those in the know, with the best rates and the most reliable carts on the island. I'll drop all the details and the phone number in the description below. Ensure you hit them for a reservation before you come, especially if it's the weekend. And here we are. Let's get set up with our ride and explore every corner of this beautiful island. All right, my friends, with the keys in hand and the island at our fingertips, let's make some memories. No trip to Isla Mujeres is complete without a snapshot at the island sign, especially with this magnificent whale shark sculpture. It's not just Instagram worthy, it's a tribute to the gentle giants of the sea that grace the waters nearby. Next up, we're about to go from tropical to polar in a matter of minutes. Buckle up, we're heading to the coolest spot in Mexico, quite literally. Here we are at the ice bar. Imagine this, over 150 tons of sculpted ice, all here to create an Arctic oasis right in the heart of this tropical paradise. For just 21 bucks, you get the ice bar experience. That's two drinks and a shot in a winter wonderland. But hey, if you want to go all out, there's the day pass. You get a buffet, the ice bar, and an open bar of national drinks. It's $45 per adult and $38 for the kiddos under 10. And if you need a moment to warm up, there's a serene beach right outside where you can lounge and soak up the sun. All right, let's let that tequila work its magic and then hit the beach for some sun. Stay tuned because Isla Mujeres still has plenty of secrets to share. After chilling to the core, it's time to turn up the heat and bask in the luxury of Isla Mujeres' premier beach club, 
Welcome to Zama. Nestled in a spot kissed by the sun and caressed by sea breezes, Zama is more than just a beach club. It's an oasis dedicated to the good life. Here you can lounge by the pool with a cocktail or dig your toes into the sand at one of the island's most exquisite beaches. We're on our way to a spot that's a feast for the senses and the soul. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds with a local culinary treasure. Welcome to La Casa del Ticking Chink, the heartland of authentic Mayan cuisine here on the island. Ticking Chink is not just any grilled fish, it's a Yucatan classic, marinated in a blend of local spices and achiote, then grilled to perfection butterfly style over an open flame. It's a dish that's been passed down through generations, and it's packed with flavors that'll transport you straight to the heart of Mayan culture. And there's no better place to enjoy Ticking Chink than at Playa Lancheros. Just look at this masterpiece. The fish is caught locally, the marinade is made from scratch, and the flavor is spectacular. And after you've had your fill, why not lounge on the beach and let the world slow down? Playa Lancheros is the perfect spot to relax and soak up the island vibe. After indulging in the rich flavors of Ticking Chink, it's time to discover a hidden gem that even some seasoned travelers miss. Welcome to Garafon de Castilla, a tranquil alternative to its bustling neighbor, Garafon Park. Here you won't find the hordes of tourists or the steep prices. Instead, Garafon de Castilla offers a slice of tranquility at a fraction of the cost. And let me tell you, the value is unbeatable. The waters here are crystal clear, offering a window to the underwater world of Isla Mujeres. You can lounge by the water, enjoy the sun, and relax in this little slice of heaven. So, if you're looking for a quieter, more authentic experience on Isla Mujeres, Garafon de Castilla should be at the top of your list. All right, explorers, after a day of adventure and discovery, it's time to refuel and I've got just the spot for you. If you're ready for a culinary detour, let's take a tantalizing trip from Mexico to Cuba without leaving Isla Mujeres. Tucked away in a picturesque waterway overlooking the Laguna Macaques lies a secret your palate will thank you for discovering. Welcome to El Varadero, a Cuban oasis about flavor, rhythm, and waterfront dining. This isn't your typical tourist spot. It's where the locals come for a taste of Havana. With its authentic Cuban cuisine and the serene views of boats gently cruising by El Varadero is a feast for all the senses. Sitting right on the water's edge, this place offers more than just a meal. It's a full-on experience. You've got the breeze, the views, and of course, the mouth-watering dishes that'll transport you straight to the streets of Old Havana. Check this out. We're diving into some classic Cuban cuisine here. From ropa vieja to tostones and mojitos, every bite celebrates flavor. That is our favorite restaurant here. The food is rich, the spices are spot on, and the atmosphere, unbeatable. Feeling full and satisfied from our Cuban feast? It's time to shift gears from dining to unwinding, and I've got the perfect spot for us to soak in those chill island vibes. Welcome to The Joint, a reggae bar and grill that's all about good times and great music. Here, every day is a celebration of sound, from rock to funk to reggae. The live music lineup is as diverse as the cocktails they shake up. And the best part, it's daily. So no matter when you drop by, you're in for a treat. Just look at this place. It's got soul, it's got rhythm, and it's got some of the best island drinks to keep you cool in the Caribbean heat. From the rhythmic beats of reggae, we journey now to the southernmost point of Isla Mujeres, where history whispers through the winds and the waves. Welcome to Punta Sur. This isn't just any spot on the map. It's a place deeply etched with the island's past. Over 1,500 years ago, this land was part of the Maya province, Ikab, and the sanctuary of Ixchel, the goddess of the moon, fertility, and well-being. 
Imagine right here, the ancient Maya built a temple to honor Ixchel, and it doubled as a lighthouse, guiding sailors with torches that shone through temple walls. And it's here that the Maya harvested salt, a precious resource in their time. Fast forward to today, and Punta Sur is home to a sculpture museum, an open-air sanctuary to art, culture, and history. Each piece tells a story, and each sculpture is a testament to the island's legacy. And if you're an early riser, you're in for a celestial treat. This is where the sun first kisses Mexico, a daily spectacle that's as breathtaking as it is humbling. When the Spanish explorer Francisco Fernandez de Córdoba arrived in 1517, he found a sanctuary led by a priestess surrounded by statues of Ixchel and her court. It was these figures that gave Isla Mujeres its name, the Island of Women. Our journey on Isla Mujeres continues as we cruise along the coastal road towards the bustling centro or downtown area. But as we embrace the island's beauty, there's something important we need to talk about. You'll notice vendors along the way, their stalls dotted with colorful displays. Among these, you might spot shells, corals, and even shark teeth. While they may catch your eye, it's crucial to remember that these are not souvenirs to take home. These pieces of the ocean are vital to the ecosystem, and many are endangered. Buying them not only harms the environment, but could land you in serious trouble with customs, depending on where you're headed. So, let's make a pact to protect our oceans. Leave these treasures where they belong, beneath the waves. Now, let's not forget about the scenery here. It's stunning. Feel free to stop, snap some photos, or even take a refreshing dip in one of these less crowded beaches. Remember to respect the local wildlife sanctuaries, like the turtle nesting areas. They're well marked, so keep an eye out and give these spaces the reverence they deserve. These sanctuaries are crucial for conservation, but respecting these areas, we're helping to ensure that future generations can also marvel at these incredible creatures. Soak it all in, the sun, the sea, the sand, and remember, we're not just visitors, we're guardians of these natural wonders. After a refreshing dip and a lesson in conservation, we're heading into the heart of Isla Mujeres, the vibrant downtown. This is where the island's pulse can be felt, with streets alive with the buzz of shops, restaurants, and the vibrant dance of daily life. From handcrafted souvenirs to chic boutiques, there's something for everyone here. If you find something that catches your eye, remember the price tag isn't the end of the story. Here in Isla Mujeres, negotiation is part of the shopping experience. It's an art form, really, and a chance to interact with the locals. Don't hesitate to negotiate, whether for a taxi ride or a keepsake. It's expected, and if you do it with respect and a smile, you'll not only get a better deal, but also enjoy a more authentic interaction. No trip to Isla Mujeres is complete without a snapshot to capture the memories. And there's no better backdrop than the stunning Caribbean Sea at the Isla Mujeres sign. This is where you can frame your island adventure with a picture-perfect view. And now, we arrive at a beach that needs no introduction, but I'll give it one anyway. Welcome to the illustrious Playa Norte, a stretch of sand so pristine it's consistently ranked among the world's top beaches. With its crystal clear shallow waters, Playa Norte is a vision of a tropical paradise. It's easy to see why it's a magnet for sun seekers from around the globe, making it one of Mexico's most beloved beaches. As you can see, its beauty is no secret. With the influx of visitors in the lineup of beach clubs, Playa Norte is the epitome of a bustling beach destination. Playa Norte is a testament to the island's allure, where memories are made and the sunsets are unforgettable. But let's not forget that its beauty should be safeguarded. Enjoy it, but do so mindfully, leaving nothing behind but your footprints in the sand. Just when you thought it couldn't get busier, we round the corner from Playa Norte to the heart of the action at Playa Centro. This is where the pulse of Isla Mujeres beats even louder. Playa Centro is a spectacle of island life turned up to the max. It's a stretch of sand that buzzes with energy and yes, even more people. 
On peak days, visitor numbers can soar up to 30,000, eclipsing the local population of around 23,000 and transforming the island into a hotspot of activity. In high season, the island is at full tilt. Golf carts, booked. Bicycles, taken. Taxis, good luck. It's when locals like us tend to lay low and let the visitors soak up the sun. If you find yourself here during the high season, embrace it. It's a unique experience, but remember to be patient, be kind, and maybe make a local friend who can show you those secret spots away from the crowds. And just like that, our day of exploration is winding down. We're saying goodbye to our trusty golf cart, our faithful companion on this incredible journey around Isla Mujeres. As we make our way back to the mainland, back to the comfort of our homes and your all-inclusive resorts, I can't help but feel grateful for the memories we've created today. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I hope you've enjoyed the ride as much as I have, discovering the hidden gems and vibrant culture of Isla Mujeres. If you have any questions about the places we visited today, or if you want to share your own experiences, please drop a comment below. I love hearing from you, and I'm here to answer any queries you might have. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more adventures. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering. Safe travels, amigos.